Hello everyone, my name is Pallescent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 8. As per usual, the first thing we're going to do on this episode today is seriously just check out the shop and see if we have any diamonds. We've got four in the bookshelf, someone's been buying up some bookshelves. Got another two diamonds in the glass. And we have another whole bunch of diamonds in the tinted glass box to give us 40 diamonds as the haul for today. Not bad at all, I'd say so myself. In total, we have about 11 stacks of diamonds. I'm really thinking about combining those into diamond blocks soon because it's getting a little bit much for my ender chests. I don't know, we'll see, I might use some at some point. With that said, we seem to have a bit of a new attraction in Bershon Village, which is another, another spider type machine that I'm guessing must have come from Ren and Doc. And there is some shulker boxes up there. You guys saw in my in the chest that I really did not have many shulker boxes at all, so I wouldn't mind actually going to have a look at this. I'm pretty sure they are selling those, and I wouldn't mind hopping up there. But for someone that is not currently using wings, despite that being in my hotbar, yeah, I, I'm not going to use them yet. Guys, I'm currently at 88 days without any wings on, so I can't ruin that streak, <laughs> and I'm going to have to get up there. But you know what? I do have some enderpearls. Let's get our little butts up there, shall we? That was no problem at all. What do we got here? Okay, payment chest. Three diamonds per box. Okay, that's a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I think actually Jevin has some shulker boxes in his shop. So I actually want to go have a look at that real quick. I guess my old kanga horse gets to come out for a little bit of a ride today and we get to take the paths. I love this. This is actually quite peaceful, to be honest. Let's go down south and uh, have a look at uh, what Jeb's got for sale. There's the big green shulker box that we like to see. So I'm hoping Jeb has a little bit of stock left that we can then proceed to buy. Look at this thing. It's so slimy. It's so cute. And I love it. I love this design for the shop, Jeb. It's great. Ow. Not so friendly for horses, though. Okay, you stay out here, little kangaroo. I'll be right back. What do we got? Shulker boxes. One diamond for three boxes instead of three diamonds for one box. I think this works out a little bit nicer than the other one. What do we got? And plenty of stock as well, so this is fantastic. I'm gonna buy up a few and uh, report back to you guys after. All right, there we go. I think six diamonds worth of shulker boxes to have a whole bunch of these is pretty good. And this is gonna be pretty handy for the projects that we'll be doing later this episode. Honestly, one of the most reoccurring situations on this server is my base being blown up from creepers being in boats. I don't know if you guys remember when Scar blew up my base and gave me the green cookie, but um, it seems to have happened again. And you know what? I never catch these on camera. It's happened maybe five times or so to my base now, maybe more. I don't even know. But someone's gone and blown it up again and decided to leave the hole here and a lovely sign to say it happened again. And you know what? It's in birch. I'm even more insulted. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to fix that up. And I have my lovely pillager that somehow survived all of the explosions at this point. Well, I've got to fix that up later. It's fine. Now, I'm also sure many of you guys are wondering, hey, Pearl, what happened to the tech? You had it in the last episode. Well, I can confirm that egg has now been taken. Someone has indeed found it, and that person was false. Hi, hi, Llama. Nice little eggs. So that said, I reckon it's time for me to show you guys exactly how you get into the tech. So the first thing you want to do is open this trap door, which typically goes right down to my mine shaft. You count four trap doors down, so one, two, three, four, and then in one of these, if you flick these up twice, and then proceed to open the right trap door on the second one, you'll end up springing up into this little hidey hole in here. So every single one of those layers is double trap doored, but the fourth one down has a slightly different orientation to the rest of them. As you can see, all of these ones are flipped up that way, but the right row has the ones flipped upside, I don't know, upside down? I don't I don't even know what I'll call this, but they flipped upside down just to give a little bit of a hint that this is the correct row they need to look at. So you come in here, flick the trap door, you're in the tunnel now. This wasn't actually buttoned before, I didn't have any buttons down, but there was a bit of a slight oversight when two skeletons spawned in and killed False when she was going to get the tag. So I decided to stick some buttons down so we wouldn't get any mob spawning at all. I did leave this completely dark because what I found was that light was seeping through the trap doors into the tunnel itself, so it was making it super obvious. So you come around here, flick this trap door down to get into swim mode. All of this is easily accessible without breaking any blocks or needing wings or anything like that. But you flick that down, 
come through here and you're in the aquarium, which is basically what I showed you guys in the last video. See that entrance there? Right there was the one that I did not show you guys. So I, I did see quite a few people thinking I did show the entrance on camera, but I still hadn't because I was skipping out that little tunnel bit there. So then of course we go three over from the left, hop in here, hop into the mine cut, come out, close the trap door, and you're basically inside the start to my little take mini game. So I guess now that the tag's been taken, we'll have to think of something else to do in the future, but I was even thinking of potentially expanding this zone and adding more rooms, and maybe this time hiding the tag inside the maze or the gate little game, and they'll have to find it inside instead of at the end. I don't know, maybe that could be fun, but I think that's something to do for a different episode. Now we have the next order of events, which is the one that I think a lot of you have been waiting for. As you can see, we have some pretty active Bota members. We have Impulse over there with his massive factory being built. We have Mumbo with his giant mountain armchair, basically. I love the shape of it. <laughs> and we've got Green also starting his mountain. So we got a whole bunch of huge bases started. And you know what? I haven't got mine started yet. And that's something that I think we really need to get into. Now we did also have a small meeting earlier with the Bodom crew relating to the mega bases, and I think this is something you all should see. So let's play the clip right now, and I'll bring you guys back in afterwards to have a chat about it. Pearl. Yes. Bodom hole. Five minutes. All right, I'll be there. Go. Hello, Mumbo. You've been called over like Hello, me. <laughs> Yeah, do you have any idea what we're meant to do? I didn't even... Not really. Were we meant to stand here for five minutes, or was it, like, in five minutes' time? I'm... Are we both really early? <laughs> I think we're a little bit early. He did say five minutes, and it came pretty much straight over here, so I think we're, like, four minutes early. Right. But the fact that we're crowding around a bottom hole... Your horse? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he speedy? It's pretty cool. Th Getting out with all the gear. That's not quite the horse I imagined. He's a little... He's got... His <laughs> ears are a little bit longer, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like... He's, he's like a custom horse. He's like a tuned up horse. Right, did you take him he's to the like... workshop? Gotten a bit yeah, of an upgrade? Yeah, yeah got a body kit <laughs> on him. You can hear a bit better I, now. I got a, I got a body kit on him. I've arrived. I've arrived early. This is sooner oh. than five minutes. Uh oh. Yeah. oh. Whoa. I don't think Green's quite ready. Yet? Great, oh, Green, no, do we lose you him? okay? Well, no, he seems to be down there. Oh, no, he can't hear us anymore. Is it Why far is there away? beautiful llamas oh. down there? I don't, I don't know. Is that, why is there only four? Where's bottom the of the bottom. Bottom. Oh. He oh, said. Are we supposed to go bottom. down there? I don't have my wings uh, on right now. I'm doing no oh, wings club. Oh, okay, it's no, okay. No. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. I was helping. I'm That's helping. Not Use helping us. Use us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Mean, that's a smart oh. idea. That's a smart idea. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh dear. That's probably not good. The summer scar stuff. The hat made it. <laughs> did his hat make it? Okay, that's yeah, good. How did he do here. that? <laughs> oh, no. What is going on here? It's just a okay. bunch of bouncing well, llamas. We've, we've now got to just uh, wait for Scar to appear. Uh, uh, act like nothing happened. He didn't. He actually lost a fair amount of stuff. Um, oh, no. I picked up some of his items. Do you reckon he'd notice if I, if I swapped out these golden carrots for my potatoes? Because golden carrots seem far better than potatoes. <laughs> You're the one selling <laughs> potatoes, <laughs> Mumbo. <laughs> you to have the good oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm, uh, I'll make sure to give these back. And now that we're all here, safe and sound. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate Welcome you back, getting my Welcome hat. Back, that would have been very sad. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> So, obstructed. I have set up our very first Botum meeting room, and it is, of course, in the Botum hole. Uh, there's only four because the hole's not big enough. So, oh, I mean, I think so, this is a good so chance for me to say I'm not going to sit down there. <laughs> no, yeah, you oh. are You are not yeah. using wings, so nope. um, guys, you guys everyone take a llama. Now, before you <laughs> right-click the llama, there's something you need to know. Uh -oh. Very yeah. important. Now, I feel that meetings go on for way too long, so I've installed a time limit, and it will become very apparent what that time limit is uh, once you get on a llama. Uh, so oh wait for it to bounce up, and it, on you go. I got it, I got it, okay. Oh jeez! I think this that time is limit so is now quite luck. apparent. <laughs> okay, this is... right. Welcome to the first meeting. Uh, okay, if you good. die, it's all over. So we've got to have this meeting incredibly quickly before we all die. <laughs> you guys getting a bit of a headache down there? I see. Uh -huh. Okay. 
<laughs> right, guys, I have a proposal for the Botums, okay. mm -hmm. right? Yep. In this Botum hole, under the Botum pole, I propose a Botum goal. Let's oh, all it. merge our bases into the first ever Hermitcraft Giga base. That's no bum, 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 bum. That sounds uh, like amazing. Form a corporation it. called Botum Incorporated. We all work that together to mm -hmm. I'm running out of time. How's this pitch going? <laughs> keep it, keep, keep going, going, keep going, keep going. 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 Oh, that close to death. Eat more. Wait, I think hang on. He's, I, I he's hitting his head on obsidian. Oh, that was my big axe! This is how This is how all This is how all corporate meetings go. Oh, right, geez. so, go. I feel know. quite happy of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna push you into the hall. No. Is there anything else that needs to be discussed? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, I'll just go around the table. Impulse, off? are you in? Giga Base, Bottom Incorporated, Scar, are you in? I'm in. Uh, Mumbo, are you in? <laughs> I am, like, I'm gonna think about it for a little while. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't think about it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I, th I think I might be in. I think I might be in. I think you might be in. Are you in? I'm in. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. right. Um, this this is out? why we need a bigger bottom hole, by the way, Impulse. Yeah, yeah. you need to fit yeah. me down there too, as much as I uh, love being it. up here. I want to be part of it. For future millions, <laughs> I will make this How does bigger. one leave this the meeting? This is quite fun, to be honest. Or is this the rest of my season? There's, there's, well, there's two ways out, Mumbo. Yeah, one of them is down, and one of them is up. Guess okay. you make that choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who can pull this off. See, Impulse, you're barely it. bouncing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's going down. See you, Impulse. <laughs> oh, no, Impulse. Wait, did he actually just die? No, he's good. He's good. <laughs> I'm all right. He made oh, it. Number one, Bone member. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, Mumbo. I guess Mumbo's oh, way out is down. All right, Scar's good. Oh, no, Green. <laughs> In business, sacrifices have to be made. Are you saying that you're going to die here? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, no. He he's fine. I... I okay. think I know what happened there, because the same thing just happened to me. Well, Mumbo lost his llama, then he did he didn't get off, and then instead of <laughs> using his rockets, I'm pretty sure he was eating carrots. Probably. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like, well, it's not made an enormous loss for one person. Right. Right? One person <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm up. I'm really in with this situation. <laughs> but... Can I get a good guy uh, discount? The box is 100 diamonds. Oh <laughs> no, duh. That was an expensive yeah, diamonds right -click. is cheap, that's fine. Oh my goodness. 50 diamond scar just for you. Here the we go. Here you go. Hey. And, and there was nowhere All to pay. Right. So wow, this is, this is actually better than my gear. Does anyone want my sword? Who wants my sword? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. No, you can have it. Okay, well, you can right. stay there in D spawn. Why'd you give away the sword? I can't, well, I don't kill anything. Oh, that's right. Uh, Except no the competition, use. right, Mumbo? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wait, Mumbo, did you have that axe on, on you when you died that I gave you by chance? Yeah, well, that, look, oh. you're going to have to take that up with, with Scar, all right? Because he just <laughs> lost the potato peeler. The potato no, peeler has been lost to the void. That's a legendary potato You're going to have to make a, pot a potato peeler V2. All right, just to summarize, because that was way messier than I thought it was going to be, yep. we yep. are all going to work out and plan probably off camera how to connect all of our bases and have mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. large, cohesive, first ever, I believe, Giga base. Yep. It's going to be amazing. Can't and then the we're going to argue about that one down in the comments <laughs> section. <laughs> and then we're going to band together to make this the place to shop as one corporation. Sounds good to yep. me. We're already becoming a circus here. Since my head's not hitting bedrock over and over again, I like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're recovering it from It did headaches. keep the meeting nice and short, though. It did work yeah, quite it did, well. It did do that. It did do that. Oh. I'll and work on our meeting room between episodes here. <laughs> that sounds like a good move. <laughs> Right, that's that's it for the first meeting. Uh, we'll all we'll gather around when we've got our heads together and figure the rest of it out later. Yeah. Yeah, sounds, sounds good to me. Good. Can't wait to get building. Okay, right. cool. First meeting, only two deaths. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Woo! Well done. And next one four. Yeah, and I'm fifty diamonds up. <laughs> yeah, three yeah, rolling. That's true. <laughs> so that's right. You heard it right. We're doing a giga base. We are all combining our bases together and making one of the very first Giga bases on Hermitcraft. And you know what? This is fantastic and I can't wait to get started. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of an insight as to my original plans before the Giga base came up, because this is a very recent kind of uh, 
thought process here between all of the Bodum crew. There's a little island off in that direction that I was going to build on, and I think that island honestly is a fantastic place to go, but it was a little bit far away. So we need to move a tad bit closer to everyone. And kind of the first area that I was looking at is this mountain over to the right, just between Grian and Scar. So how about we just go and scope out the area and see what we have to potentially work with. When we discussed what the options were on the table, this was one of the places that Gregan actually suggested we use. So I reckon it could be a pretty good place for us to settle. But it looks like Gregan has left us some signs to go and check out. So let's have a bit of a read. What's he going and left us? All this is up for use, Pearl slash Scar Gigabay. So Scar could also potentially maybe combine with this as well. That could be pretty interesting. Let's have a look. This too. So I wonder if even the discount beacon, we might have to move the discount be beacon, maybe. All of this is free. Gigabase space. <laughs> All free land, just make sure there is a tunnel for the train, which is something I've also kind of like thought about and kept in mind as well. He's currently got this bit dug out. So what we could probably do is terraform over the top of it and make a really cool tunnel space for Green's train potentially. Now let's check out here as well, because I know Grian's got this like little flat area that he's marked out um, as his base with a bunch of copper, and I believe he wanted to do something with it. This is Grian's train station, potentially not free to use. So this is something we'll have to keep in mind. Now I did actually message Grian about that as well, and he did say we're all, go we're all good to go to, to make a whole bunch of terrain, and we can just edit it later, because he's not quite sure yet what design to put in there. So. Uh, potentially something to keep in mind is that he will be using part of this space too. So I'll try not to edit too much of this. And if there is any terrain that seeps in, I'm totally fine if that terrain is like broken down or whatever to make room for what he wants to make later on in the future. Of course, all of this stuff is also going to have to be moved because this whole space is going to be utilized in the Gigabase build. So I'm going to have to ask Cub uh, what's happening? I did actually send a message to Cub as well when I was already looking at this space and we're all good. We might even potentially do something with joined bases in the future too with Cub right there. But this discount beacon is going to have to move unfortunately because this is the space that I also will be building in. So we'll move it there and maybe we can uh, go put that in Cub's spot somewhere. I'm not sure where. We'll figure it out. I guess I haven't really explained what I'm going to be doing to start off my mega base. Now, one of the biggest things you want to think about when making any kind of mega, or in this case, giga base, is that you need a foundation for what you're building. What I'm going to start off with is honestly terraforming this whole area into a beautiful mountain. That, that, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to start off as, a giant mountain. What I've also got right here is a bunch of resources too that I'm going to need to build this mountain. A whole bunch of stone, I've got a little bit of jungle wood for some texturing that I was looking of doing, a little bit of moss and some terracotta that we'll need honestly way more of. But I think that'll be good to get us started for now, we'll get some more resources as I go and uh, should be good to just get us straight into it. So how about we just get building, it's going night time, I'm gonna go sleep and uh, start building the mountain, I'll bring you guys back in when we're done quote unquote i don't know let's just build a mountain let's see how far we get let's go let's do it right now mountain time
Oh boy, that mountain took me a mountain of a time to build. About two days and maybe 15 plus hours -ish later, we have ourselves a pretty large mountain, to be honest. And yes, I did the back. <laughs> this thing is pretty big in size and honestly, I could see some really massive structures being built on this thing. Let's just give you a proper flyover because I know sometimes it can be a bit hard to see everything, but it, it's pretty massive. It's pretty massive. There is so much structure that we can fit on this landscape. I haven't even planned what the structure is exactly going to look like. So it's definitely going to be a fairly large test to uh, see how we can make this terrain work with um, some really nice structure ideas. Regardless, with this being such a big build, of course things tend to happen during the building process that aren't quite so expected. The first thing you might notice is that my wings are back on. This one wasn't so much expected considering I think I left the last clip at maybe 88 days or something like that. I did reach 100 days and I did decide to put my wings back on after that because uh, building a mountain would be pretty painful without wings, let's be honest. But I did reach 100 days and I should be getting the first medal of the No Wings Club, which is honestly pretty cool. Not only did we reach our 100 days on the No Wings Club, there was also a small incident where Mumbo had died and dropped all those items and he did actually need a little bit of a backup elytra and uh, just to go get his stuff and it looks like he's come back and left us the elytra and also given us a little bit of debris as well. I believe he was going into the, the nether ten mine ancient debris so it was a bit of a dire situation to be in and he's really generously given us a piece back. He didn't have to do that but thank you so much Mumbo for the debris. I appreciate that. That's just my spare elytra that I landed. It was fine. <laughs> The view from right in front of my house now over towards the mountain honestly looks fantastic now. I see Scar started to build some trees and the view here, it really I really love it. It looks great. You might also notice that little hole over there too. Now I've gone and left that to give Green a bit of breathing room for the train station he said he was going to build. Still don't know what it's going to be yet, but also he's more than welcome to, you know, chop down part of this mountain later on if he feels like he needs to. We can definitely collab in terms of mixing our terrain together as well because of course there's a bit of a gap between them and if this train station is going to be quite large then I can do some pretty big edits to this side as well in order to cater for all of the extra additions and I think that'll look really really cool in the end. But my wings and mumbo dying aren't the only interactions that I've had since I've built this mountain. There has been many more to the point of me constantly running out of resources to build this thing because look at all the granite and all the moss and everything that's needed to go into this thing. So I needed a little bit of help from some hermits in terms of either buying from their shops or doing a little bit of a trade with them. So you know what? I've actually got a few clips to show you there as well. And uh, let's just roll it, honestly. Let's have a bit of fun with some shenanigans that occurred during my build. I totally didn't sell my soul twice either. It's fine. So, uh, I hear you had a question. I do have a question. The, uh, oh. Look, I need a lot of moss, okay? I need a whole okay. bunch of moss. I'm totally not making a giant mountain or anything. And <laughs> I, I, I saw your book over there, and you've got an IOU system that says we right. can buy bulk items with this tiny bit of paper. It's, oh, it's yeah. pretty much yeah. <laughs> like the greatest system on the server currently. Right. It basically is. So you've right. got one diamond for one stack or an IAU for a bulk. Mm -hmm. How much does this cover exactly? Because I'm kind of on the fence right now. Uh, well, well, how much do you need? I, I don't really know. Just enough to make a mountain. <laughs> if that's a any... Mountain. um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Any, whoa. Any... <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Can I buy a whole mountain uh, worth well, of moss with this, maybe? Uh, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Discuss this real quick. So, so, so. Mm -hmm. I'm still here over there. What? Right? what? Oh, we've, we've mm. got so much moss. We do. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's new, right? Like, we can. We Should can we cut her a deal? Do you think? Of it? I feel like. I feel like we can. We can let her take a bit, right? All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we, we have discussed it over, mm -hmm. and yeah. we, no. <laughs> so the moss up here, I mean, like it's been sitting there. It's kind of old and stale. Oh. If you come down here. <laughs> I mean, that's what moss is, isn't it? It's basically mold well, of sorts. But this is like. <laughs> premium you know like fresh are you theoretically saying that i could have a whole bunch of this just for a piece of paper 
I mean, yeah. Is there a catch? Because that this seems like you guys um, are kind of losing out a I little mean, bit here. You know, at, no, 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 at no, some point, just... at some point in the future, that IOU will be handed back to you uh -huh. for a small favor. A small favor, okay. Yeah, and you say great. small, but it could be of any scale that you might deem I mean, small. It's, it, I mean, it's small Look things, things, things that you like to do, like. <laughs> D don't you like moving bases to the left one or no, you know, things I, like that? No, I don't. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've heard that's your favorite thing to no, do. Please, no. <laughs> Look, if that's the trade-off, I'd rather pay 20 diamonds for 20 stacks or something. <laughs> It'll be fine. Be yeah, fine. don't worry yeah. about it. Don't worry we about it. We are very trustworthy. Look at us. Look at mm. us. We're just a couple of average blokes just, just... you know, trying to make a living here. All right, how much is it? What's the what's the deal? How much for this piece of paper? Um, did you bring shulkers with you? Um, no, I did not. Hmm. Well, that's gonna raise I, the I'd price. I'd say <laughs> three, four, four shulkers. Is that is four that shulkers? I mean that that is would that, be fantastic that? if you want to like go with that much. It's a lot. Are you sure, it's worth it. Yeah, we can. It's, we can, I think we can part with it. This the one new time. Hermit discount, right? Since this is your first purchase, we mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah. All right, where do I put this bit of paper then? Let's seal the deal, shall uh, we? Just stick it in my just pocket. Stick in your pocket? It'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Wait, was it already signed? I have signed oh, it, yeah. Look at that. I, I oh, was already debating right. it for a little while. I didn't even know if I was going to come over here right. and spend that, but I guess I have now. So there you go. <laughs> you are welcome to four, four shulkers, which is... Yeah, four shulkers? Choices. Okay, I'll have to come back with some shulkers and then fill up, I suppose. And there you go. Okay. Well, thank you very all much. Right. I, well, you enjoy I appreciate all your the pleasure doing business. Fresh moss. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys later then. I'll be right back. Oh, man. We're going to get so rich. So much money. Oh, oh that's good. That's concerning. <laughs> oh, my wow. <laughs> oh, my God. You scared me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is super loud. Hi. Oh, I'm going to move down here just a yeah. little bit. There we go. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> What's all these um, chests? Blimey. <clears throat> so so I'm uh, digging out this gigantic hole for my base, right? Uh -huh. And T Tango helped me set this sorter up to where Blimey. we just dump these chests into the chests over there and it, you know, sorts that's, everything. That's amazing. You must easily. have heaps from digging that hole out then. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, a lot of these chests are full of stone and stuff like that. But um, right. I went through and checked out for the granite. Mm -hmm. And I have right around three full double chests that you can Whoa, buy. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to. And wanna... the one thing that I need is tough. So uh -huh. if you have any that you can spare, I'll be happy to take it off your hands. Okay. So I didn't bring over everything because I know I'll use tough in the future. But yeah, I yeah. did bring five stacks, if that helps. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um like we we had talked about it on discord you mm -hmm. know if you want to you know let's do instead of three stacks for a diamond let's do like five i think five a stacks for a fair. diamond because sure? i'm never gonna i'm never gonna use granite <gasps> oh, ever thank so. you honestly i didn't think i would use this much granite but turns out a mountain eats a lot of granite so <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i need a little it's okay yeah it's, it's take what you need so, and if you ever need any other blocks like uh diorite or anything like that i got you too okay sweet i might have to take up that offer later on then okay so five stacks for a diamond right yep Five okay. for a diamond. Thank you. I, I have a bunch here that I'll probably end up uh, yoinking. <laughs> oh, geez, it's filtering it too. Okay, I might be here for a little bit trying oh, to... Oh, no, take uh, your time. Take your time. <laughs> get this going. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get back to digging, so have okay. fun with your granite. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy your five <laughs> stacks of tough. <laughs> I guess. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. This is incredibly creepy. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> How's it look, going? Look at that glorious face going well. How are you doing? I am excellent. You scared me. <laughs> I have that effect on people sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. So say, hi, say hi. Say hi to Fifi. Hello, Fifi. <laughs> is is Fifi in the hugging mood? You give Fifi a hug. Uh, it could be. Yeah. Go ahead and hug. <laughs> could be. It's not dangerous. I'm not gonna die doing this. No, no, no. You should be fine. Yeah. Wait. Well, how do I hug? Do I hug a toe? <laughs> Guy yeah, probably yeah he's got some nasty toenails oh, but you oh, know okay that doesn't scare me with any confidence okay hug, hug, there we hug, go you. hug Fifi <laughs> oh, okay he seems all right 
So what's going on? What's what do I do? Uh, here? I'm just do it. Well, no, there's nothing. You, you can pay homage to Fifi later. There'll be a, a, a sacrificial okay. donation pit and then things like that. So you know, I'm, not, I'll I'm call just going to chuck my soul into a pit. Yeah, basically, something saying? like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Um, but you need you need some dirt, right? I do need some dirt. I'm very sure. All right. Yes. All right. As you can see, there's been some digging here. Uh, most of it's stone. I think this top one's half and half, oh, and geez. then there's a full double right there. So. This is so much dirt. Help yourself. I honestly Help can't yourself. believe how much I've used on my build. It's I ridiculous. saw what you're building over there, and it's monstrous. <laughs> it is I monstrous. think it might be bigger than this mountain. It's pretty close, if not. Oh, I mean, I think it's like it's got more ripples in it, maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. It does. It looks it great. Is... It's like little, it's curvy and like, yeah, it's <laughs> Thank amazing. You. That mountain's got curves. Yeah. So you're saying right. I could essentially take all of this dirt from off your hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take <gasps> it. If you're going to use it, take it all. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, go nuts. Go nuts. <laughs> I don't need it. this stuff. I keep running out of the resources. I swear I did not think I would run out of. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot to build a mountain. It, it does. It takes a lot more than I thought it would, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fact that we can pack it all into tiny chests, though, is kind of magnificent. Does help. Does help. It does. All right. Take all you need. Thank you. Appreciate it, Tango. <laughs> yep. There was an only trading that occurred while I was building my mountain. Let's see some Botum shenanigans that just randomly decided to occur, shall we? Well, how about this? How about this? I bet my Elytra... Okay. I can jump in this hole! Oh, no. <gasps> oh, wow! I, I'm not uh, going to jump. I don't want to see his death back. message. Wait, what? Oh! Look! He's, he's magic! He's resurrected from the donkey butt. He's magic! I am pretty magical. That is, pretty is this so because magical. you died in the, in the last meeting, Mumbo? You don't want to die again? Yep. Okay. Yeah, can, can I try for real this time dying. without dying? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to oh, do? Oh, is it a stasis a chamber? Are we, are we going for a triplet? Oh, is, no. is this what you're saying, Scar? Because the, the first double went so well, dude. All right. Okay. Let's, let's go. Pearl, you're in this. I'm in this as well. I, if I die, I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You know the drill. Pearl knows how these work. So, I've so, never used one. I don't have an ender pearl, to be honest. Oh, so. Okay. All right, I, did, I did it. It's, it's perfect. Oh, if I go down there, am I going to pick the other two up? Or no, no, yeah, no, you're good? fine. You're okay. fine. Yeah. All right, so we just throw it in there, right? Yeah, it mm -hmm. just has to be directly straight down. Ooh. <laughs> Not like that, basically. I, yep. Okay. <laughs> directly straight down. Let me see if I can. So, get like, this. if you look directly straight down, then it should it should bob up. Uh, that, that's My that's goodness, not, how have, not I've working never seen too well for me. Do this. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, I'm, my, <clears throat> my name might be so Pearl, you... but it doesn't mean that I can yeah, throw yeah, a Pearl. Yeah, this is super embarrassing for you. <laughs> I'm looking straight like, down, maybe... and I'm throwing it. Yeah, but maybe don't go that far Did it work? the edge. It worked. I, I think got so. it. I, I think, think so. I got okay, it. Okay, okay, yep. cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> all right, Scar, still leave all your gear off, because I don't trust you, Pearl. I feel like you're not the sort of person that will hit the edges. I still... So I think you should be okay. I should be okay? Okay. Well... I still, okay. if I lose my gear, this is on you in this one, I'm just saying. Oh, are we going, should we all go on the trap door? <laughs> oh, yes, we geez. totally should. Okay, I am, <laughs> I am nervous here. <laughs> oh, you pushed me! You pushed me! No! <laughs> 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 of course, someone's going to die. <laughs> It's gonna be Scar. Oh, always Scar. Why is it always Scar? Scar, you gotta crouch so you don't fall off the edge. Hello, Impulse. What's going on? Hi, uh, Impulse. Would you be able to pop over to the bottom hole? The, the bottom okay. hole? Uh, on the my view. way? Yeah, this is my. It's, the it's, it's late for me. <laughs> it's the bottom it's hole. Late for me. <laughs> Maybe actually it shouldn't be called that. I've just realized. Let's, <laughs> let's not okay, call it that. Let's, let's scrap not that. call it let's that. Let's scrap that out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go leave that in. Uh, how, is that? how have I never even put that oh. together? Right, okay, anyway. Right, we need, I guess we need Just Ender Pearls. Just take him serious <laughs> with like the bandana and like... <laughs> what do you mean? It's very <laughs> serious ketchup. outfit. Okay, you get crashes yeah. time, sure. Scott? And everyone, okay. Everyone's, I'm gonna, everyone's this is my their personal Ender area. Right? Personal space. Uh-huh. Okay. Are okay. we all going to stand on the trapdoor or are we going to jump? I think we should all just stand no, on the trap door. No, the trap door is a personal yeah. space area. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We all have, we're all in this right. together. Come on, come Mumbo. On. Come over. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Are we ready? Don't hit the sides. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really don't hit the sides. <laughs> the okay. Sides. And three, two, oh. one, go. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, it works. Oh, that totally works. 
How does nice. that, oh, there's a bunch of tripwire hooks. I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh Jim, do you know what we should do? What? We should play a prank on uh, G-Man. And like, <laughs> no. I don't know, he has something where he dies, but we all just appear here. Oh, it'd be so funny. Oh, no, no, what, we, what we should do is we, we should do it to someone, but not tell them that we've already loaded the end of Bells in. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> just let them go Actually, through. Impulse, what is this? <laughs> what, you seem to have respawned oh. with something. Did it mess up? He's got a squished like apple on his head. Did it, did it mess mm -hmm. up? Oh, it messed up my hat. <laughs> my head got squished on my head from that. Squishy apple. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Oh no! <laughs> Can we get some paper towels or a damp rag here? Oh no! Yes. <laughs> this is a problem. Scar. <laughs> Can, can I request a service? Can you possibly whip me up a hat? Because mine's obviously <gasps> smushed on my head famous now. Famous scar hat. Ooh, a famous scar hat. Pearl, do you have a request also? I, w I would love a hat. Can I have a hat? I would love a hat. Do you have a request for a style of hat? Mm, I didn't really think that far ahead, to be honest. Mm. I mean, you I'll can't really you beat some Mumbo's designs. hat. I mean, yeah, I feel like my hat could definitely receive an extension. <laughs> <laughs> could be a little bit tall. Maybe a big, bigger brim would be cool if you, I reckon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah maybe. <laughs> yeah. Looks like yours got flattened as well. Yeah, a little bit. All right, well, well, thank you for testing my system, guys. Uh, that yeah. was, that worked well. Um, thank it you. It worked really well. It did it. <laughs> it was cool. It worked well. So now I have like a super safe exit from the voting meetings. You guys can still fanny about and try and work it out for yourselves. You mean but. we can't use it? <laughs> oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have told you about it. Oh no, yeah. if we're all using it, then I it guess doesn't work. We'll be safe except for Green, it's all right, it's fine. Yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. Nobody okay. tell Green, that's a good one. We will plan. not tell Green. Well, that was fun. And, uh, Scar, I'll be yeah, sending I'll... you over some hat designs, all right? Oh, I, 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 will, I will await your order. I might need to and, ponder uh, some blueprints Bill, for mine. Bill, Bill Mumbo, because <laughs> my hat was smashed because of that contraption you set up. I don't know I'll if be invoicing you shortly. You know? <laughs> I'll put this back on. I'm ashamed. Aww. I'm ashamed. I'm gonna go now. My smash It's gonna get hat hairs. So. <laughs> I really did not anticipate how hectic this episode would be and just how many collabs would happen in this one. It's honestly been fantastic and I got to make some clips with a few hermits that we hadn't yet done so with before. Because of this, this episode is kind of in two parts, I guess. There's a few things that we missed out on doing, including we didn't, well, for one, we didn't move that uh, that discount beacon that you see still poking out. I really want to go talk to Cub about that. And we're going to do something maybe potentially fun with it. I don't know. I want to go chat to him and see what he thinks uh, we should do with the beacon. For now, it's kind of just covered by the mountain. It's not really going anywhere. And yet again, you also might have noticed that we don't have a heist in this episode. I apologize once again, guys. We are missing some key members to do the heist. And once again, of course, this episode is already pretty long. So if I added a heist on there too, it would be well over an hour and I just can't quite fit it in, sadly. Apologies, guys. In the next one though, I promise. The next episode, big heist. Let's do it. I also wouldn't mind requesting a bit of a swagon service from Scar because I'm sure we're gonna need some resources to be building our mega base in the future. I think that could be pretty fun. So with all that said, sadly, this is going to be the end of the episode for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. I had a blast and I was really, really excited to, you know, get going and uh, start to get crazy with this build. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any feedback for this episode, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys once again so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next episode of Hermitcraft. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. That's a mountain. That's a gigabase.